All right, everybody, it's our Clow here, and as always, I am beyond excited to be presenting this information to all of you today, which is going to be spanning, as always, such a massive, massive scope. So again, prepare yourselves to really go through just a torrent of information here as I paint this picture of what the elite has put into place again by design in this world they have orchestrated to uh, bring about that new age that we have all been just twiddling our thumbs more or less in anticipation for but now before I get into all of that I do want to give a very uh, just genuine thank you and shout out to everybody who took the time to either post or just um, engage with this post I did recently under the community tab again regarding a very difficult uh, set of events going on personally right now um, and of course just very moving to see that support uh, from a number of you so again thank you for that and again as this post really discusses um, you know if we're all improving ourselves and our communities and showing those that matter to us how much we love them those are the fundamental pieces to overcoming this just divisive and destructive and oppressive machine and world that we have allowed to be engineered around us right we've been divided and conquered and there's so much intolerance now there's so much sensitivity all of these things and again all distractions from bigger issues which again is this greater scheme of things that i will be elaborating on here right once we get out of our opening spiel but they know that people have been conditioned so strongly at this point that the odds of them having the ability for us to have the ability to come together on a scale grand enough and in a way that is genuine and consistent enough to be able to support and take care of each other without their system. They know how just fractional the odds of that are. And so all of these things that they have designed and that I talk about here and that a number of others uh, come across as well, again, we tie the old, our own nooses for it, that old saying, right? But so, in any case here, that being said, so, you know, right? <laughs> Moral of the story, how do you, what do you do, right? That's what you do. Love yourself, your community, improve those things, overcome the just construct the barriers that have been constructed around you and those you should be close to being friendly outside of an event uh, all right anyways anyways the other piece of this um discusses right this idea of working hard on the next video which now is the point where we get to that and the weight really pays off for this information okay so let's get going here and check out the lincoln memorial now part of why this is on my radar is in that previous video the meaning of our clow we discussed trump's salute to america event which he held at the lincoln memorial on the fourth of july this year and so what really grabbed my attention there was him using the phrase the future belongs to us to close out this ceremony that was marked with all of these tanks and jets and just spectacles that really bankrupted a number of budgets but so remember in that video I was discussing Trump's SNL appearance on right where he was dressed in a jump sh jumpsuit and eventually overturns and kills his identical twin, a la Jordan Peele's film Us, which came out on March 22nd of this year. And so when Trump said the future belongs to us, that's really what came to my mind, and I showed you a number of things to really 
make that a compelling point so I do urge you to check out that video but now there is so much more on the Lincoln Memorial here and I'm going to try to keep things as concise as possible but I want to point out that another goal of this video is to reiterate the importance of November 3rd and 8th of this year so on the left side of your screen you can see adding those dates together does give us the nice 33 but so here we go let's delve in now the Lincoln Memorial was, you know, really first officially dedicated in its complete form on May 30th, 1922. But in 2009, there was a rededication ceremony, one of many that have happened, for Lincoln's Memorial. So now, that date really jumped out at me for a number of reasons. One, it's 10 years ago. And we've been talking about the immense importance of the number 10, and I will expand on it here in just a moment. But May 30th jumped out because in 2017, it is the year that TMZ released this photo of Kathy Griffin and Trump's decapitated head. Now, of course, the big bit that I've really been building on is that the... New York City Marathon this year on November 3rd is going to mark 888 days since the release of this photo. So now, what's really fascinating here is if we look at the values for 888, which you can see on the right side of your screen, you have this reference here to dark blue being chanted, and again, that is a reference to Kali, the destroyer, and that is the representative of the liberator of the mind in the Toth tarot deck as well, is a direct kin to Kali. And again, we'll show you some images of her in just a moment, because again, the fact that she is referred to as Dark Blue and Kathy Griffin happens to be wearing this dark blue top. Again, you can see Kali here now with the decapitated head. But so how fascinating though, how absolutely fascinating. And again, these references to Project Blue Beam, which we will be discussing in reference to Godzilla. Notice as well here, Satanic Ritual Nebuchadnezzar. Now, this is a big one because this was the king of Babylonia who sent Alephrenes to go forth and conquer. And of course, he was eventually beheaded by Judith. Now, why is that so important? And in thinking about, right, even just all of these 33s that are going to be floating around here, is that when we're looking at this 33rd edition of the world in 2019 from The Economist, this woman down here, Artemisia, happens to be the one who painted this, Judith beheading Alephrenes. Now, to me, that is all far beyond coincidence. And again, connecting here, we'll be talking about the three diamonds as we have. Remember, the three of diamonds card is directly connected with Trump's birthday of June 14th. And again, I'm going to be building the most compelling cases for you on all of this. Now, Let's pull a couple of other things onto the radar here. So take a look at the fact that the dedication of that Lincoln Memorial on May 30th of 09, when we add that together, is 44. And in that same year, the statue of Whitman was unveiled over in Moscow. And you can see that date, when we add it together, is 33. Now, to me, that is beyond stunning because, again, we come back here to this cover and here's Walt Whitman. And, again, his life's work, Leaves of Grass, was completed with the Deathbed Edition, which was the 33rd edition. And, of course, him being behind Putin, referencing the significance of that unveiling of that statue. Again, he's supposed to be the voice of America, and yet we have all of this reverence and, again, this mirroring of where you would expect things. 
again, massive importance with that. But so now, let's come back here. So, of course, noting the peculiarity that those two dates for the memorial and the Whitman statue, adding to 33 and 44, which added together is 77. Now, in thinking about this in connection to the New York City Marathon, remember that its primary sponsor is Tata Consultancy Services whose logo is a nice mirrored 77, which can also be looked as an inverted VV. Again, that has coding for 44 as well. So all of those pieces just really stacked in there. And, you know, let's come back. I'm thinking about 77, right? The Western uh, coordinate point for the Lincoln Memorial is in fact 77 degrees. So you got that as well. Now, again, these two dates still, they're so important. If we look at the span of time between those two ceremonies in 2009, they are 138 days apart. Now, you should be stunned at that. So here you have the Misfits cover for their Bullet EP. Again, TM 20 and 13 for 33. And they have JFK, our 35th president, being assassinated with a smile on his face. Now the A side is listed as having the tracks bullet and we are 138. Now it's a number that I have really gravitated towards in, an, an, in this research and it will continue to come up throughout today. But do even notice here in this triple eight coding again that 138 is in fact written out right alongside Donald J Trump and so and then thinking about the fact that we have a mock-up of this with Trump who is the 45th president that's 10 spots later it becomes very compelling to think about Again, that number 10 in connection to the Phoenix and the number 88, because this appeared in 1988, you can see the number 10 on the medallion, a circular bit, of course, representing a wheel. And the wheel is the 10th tarot card. And when we consider that the stork on this 33rd edition has 10 digit barcode in its mouth, they're really making a point with these birds and the number 10. Now consider as well in the 10th episode of the 2019 reboot of Twilight Zone, which features Jordan Peele very heavily, again, writer of Get Out, which has a value of 88, as well as the film Us. But in that 10th episode, at the end here, the character emerges out of room 138 into a post-apocalyptic world. And so there's all sorts of wild things that take place after that, raising of the dead, on and on. But it's all just so supremely fascinating to, to take in. But so... Let's note a couple of other things here, right? So that span of 138 days can be seen as 19 weeks and 5 days. Now, part of why that is so interesting is because when we look at that as the number 195, it is the same as Lord of the Gate of Death, which is the esoteric name for the Death Tarot card. Again, the 13th card, the transformation, all of these pieces. Now I've connected this card very heavily to Trump and will continue to show you some very fascinating connections throughout this video. But keep in mind as well, since we're talking about 195, that is the same coding as bubonic plague black death, which there is said to be a resurgence of in LA here in 2019. So again, I'm gonna come back to that. This is all so just incredibly fascinating, but 195 also the same as Minnie Ripperton the woman who performs the final song in Peel's film, Us, and that last phrase there, at the sign that a new time is born. Again, this is during the end of the film where the untethering event has taken place, and in essence, 
half of the world has been killed by their identical twin from the underground world. Now, it is really stunning how closely, again, that mirrors another blockbuster, um, Infinity War, the Avengers movie, where half of the population is eliminated. And again, Endgame, now the biggest film in cinematic history, whatever the hell, at the box office, um, is building on that premise of restoring the world after half of it has been destroyed. So again, it's they're building on this narrative. This is no mistake. 195 is also the same as Kali the Destroyer. Again, the references to Dumbo, Dumbo, New York. Check out, again, the breakdown, the 11 on her head from the K, the D on Dumbo's head, 411, like 411 Elm Street where Kennedy was assassinated, or as in November 4th when the National Security Agency was founded. Um, and so again, that 195 is actually the same value as part of their motto, defending our nation. So again, you can see more of that coding there, but really we're just in the open opening stages of this presentation. So let's get back here and we're talking about, again, still just the dedication dates for the Lincoln Memorial. So when we're looking at May 30th, it's the 150th day. So take a look on the right side of your screen and you can see that that simple value of 150 is the same as November 3. I want you to also take note to the fact that it is the same as Liber Allvel Legis, otherwise referred to as All or AL, because we're going to explore a rumor about the Lincoln Memorial signing AL, and again that being a direct reference to Crowley's book of the law's abbreviation so <laughs> just fascinating but so again here hold on to all of that and another way that we can break down that date is to drop the zero it gives us the number 53 now do remember that storks 10 digits from the 2019 cover when we add them it is the number 53 which of course when mirrored and added gives us that nice 88 which again we are pretty much always going into here you can see on the right side of your screen trump false flags get out the new age whitman all of the bits pangolin and epstein are the same for those of you wondering my take on that it is all a part of that constructed narrative because i was telling you when they put this thing on here and discuss the fact that it is said to be the most trafficked mammal in the world I said oh no it's humans are the most trafficked mammal that should be the story and then you have everything with Keith Raniere and Nexium the human trafficking there the trafficking with Epstein and they're going to continue to build on that but again we got that from our little pangolin friend there again anagram for pan lingo pan referencing the 15th tarot card the devil card with the three-eyed ram on and on so <laughs> the very initial dedication of the Lincoln Memorial was on February 12th in 1914 now 212 is such a big number I'm gonna come back to it later because I mean it is massive so in 1914 though right 1914 33 now, looking at the Lincoln Memorial, you can see here, TLM reduces down to 2, 3, and 4. Again, the importance of mirroring and adding gives us a triple six. And notice the Lincoln Memorial is an 18-letter phrase, and that is the moon card. As I'm always discussing, this is reverence for the moon. Now, we can look at it without the at the front. L and M reducing to 34, mirrored, added, 77, again, and notice 15 letters now, the devil card. So one last read on that, if we take the full values for TLM initials and add them together, it is 45, as in our 45th president, and all of his connections to the Lincoln Memorial. So now is the part where I'm really going to start 
building into that, all right? So in thinking about Trump's salute to America, it is very interesting to me that in 1970, Richard Nixon actually held an event which he called Honor America Day on July 4th at the Lincoln Memorial. Now notice here that Honor America Day has that simple value of 150 that we were literally just talking about. And so when we put that in context with the fact that Nixon is an anagram for in Knox, again, N-O-X, the Knight of Pan, this whole transcending of the abyss, and I mean, he's, he appears so much in television and film and often referenced in connection to death, such as The Good Guys. Again, another film about this idea of truth being revealed through pornography, and that's something that I've talked about with the adult film industry, but again, in that film, Nixon revealed to be connected to death. Even in the Kong Skull Island movie, it is his face that one sees crossing through the unpassable storm and emerging on the other side. Again, these transcending ideas connected with him. And again, Knox, a reference to Mickey and Mallory Knox, all of the things I've talked about. So anyways, anyways, at the event that Nixon held, it's very noteworthy that tear gas was used on protesters right before Bob Hope took the stage and those protesters ranged from those uh, against the Vietnam War to members of the National Socialist White People's Party, again, neo-Nazis. And so Trump then choosing to have an event, right, and again, all of the controversy associated with him and just connections to white nationalism. Again, notice even that 150 is the same as marching hammers. Think of Pink Floyd's The Wall. And remember Trump 33 when that album was released and the marching hammers are the symbol associated with the, again, Nazi party in that film. MH, 13th and 8th letter, that's another 138. So, whew. <laughs> it's actually really hot over here as well as... Uh, but so in any case here, let's get back to 1970 and Nixon's event was called Honor America Day, but the televised portion was called Salute to America. And what's important is that was the same year as the first New York City Marathon. Now, what are the odds that was held on September 13th? This date that I had said a while back would just manage to keep popping up. And I mean, it's really been quite stunning. Um, everything we've connected to from not only the figures of Uncle Sam Day and uh, Milton Hershey, but again, that date of Tupac's assassination, the inspiration for Layla Crowley's Scarlet Woman in his Book of Lies featured in Chapter 77. Again, bare-breasted Layla in that. And everything I talked about with the connection to the We the Nipple protest outside of Facebook's 770 New York headquarters, all the things, right? So we'll come back to that uh, September 13th later on because it is very important. Um, but so let's get to this bit here talking about these acts of vandalism that took place at the Lincoln Memorial. So you can come through here and see all of the, I mean, the, the numbers on this thing and how they connect, all the 44s and 66s, and I mean, all of it is so very insane. I mean, the 36, remember the 36 triangular number is triple six, on and on. Took four years to complete, and as we've discussed throughout this year, really, um, number four is one of the most important numbers uh, to be considered with all of this but so take a look at um, this information I have here regarding the graffiti and so what's interesting to me is that this vandalism that we're going to discuss takes place in 2017 so this is the same year that Trump comes into office and um, again I do believe he was sworn in at the Lincoln Memorial um, and 
thinking about that, let's start to build. And when we start building, let's take a note of something here. Because the first act of vandalism occurred on February 27th, 2017. Now, that is National Polar Bear Day. And when we think about the number 227, I want you to see here that that first graffiti is one month and eight days after Trump's inauguration. So that's 18, that's the moon. Now this year, the 227th day is going to be the full sturgeon moon. And the full sturgeon moon happens to be coded simple 227 which is also the same as the Prince and the Pauper, which is that scene I showed you with Trump on SNL in the jumpsuit and the relation to the film Us. Again, him killing his twin there and burying him in the swamp. Now you can also see here the Liberator of the Mind, again that reference to the Queen of Swords that we are almost always discussing. But so notice as well that that 227 this year the full sturgeon moon is going to leave 138 days remaining so there's our 138 again and of course reducing 22 times 7 is a nice 154 and you can see the references here to ritual sacrifice world heart day which we'll talk about september 29th I've been talking to you about it for years again antichrist on and on there's so much that we have still <laughs> To get into here so with that being reiterated and it really does go much deeper than that again um, Rogan had Alex Jones on his podcast on 227 this year uh, there's a 227 in between uh, the two appearances that he had on there go back and watch that Rogan video um, because there really was um, some fast there you go um, the right side there so, whew, lot to be said about that 227. And so in any case, back to the left side of your screen now, the first thing that was graffitied is the phrase, Jackie shot JFK. So what are the odds that's the same as Jordan Peele's two films, Get Out and Us, coded, right? Also the same as The Misfits, again, thinking back to our Bullet EP, and Nestle Nescafe, of course, that was the first commercial played after the announcement of Kennedy's assassination. Was Nestle's, right, remember the pendulum, all of that? Yes, that's exactly what happened. So, fascinating references there. The World in again, 2019, that Economist cover. And those numbers, 1, 5, and 6, remember, same for first Sunday when the uh, New York City Marathon takes place, same as Battle of Midway, which is when that is going to be released this year, Roland Emmerich's film, and again, Fate's Messenger 33, all of the bits, all of, I mean, it's such a crucial number. So in any case, you can see all that on the right side of your screen now. It's connection again to Three of Diamonds appearing on the Vitruvian Man on this uh, cover back here. Again, all of the fascinating stuff that we've gone into on that. Also for 227, the 227th episode of The Simpsons just so happens to feature uh, the decapitation of the President of the United States. And... <laughs> That episode is from season 11, it's episode 1, so that is a triple 1, and that's so fascinating because um, triple 1 is the same coding as triple 6, and so when we look at that in connection to this coding right here, on the left side here, again, August 10, and four years, let's consider that August 10 this year will mark four years since Lana Del Rey's High by the Beach was released as a single. And remember I've discussed that very ominous Peace by Vengeance brings the end. 
um, that she goes into at the end of that song in spoken word. Um, and so again, keep all of that in mind. Norman Lear sharing that coding. There's that evil fuck for you. So you can just see, and again, that rainbow, the number seven, right? All of the connections to that number, seven colors in a rainbow, points on the seal of Babylon, Crowley's Mark of the Beast, continents, right? On and on. But so, that's so incredibly important to be able to look at all of that. So, again, you can catch yourself up with uh, a lot of that information now on the right side of your screen. But so, notice as well here, 411 written out again, where Kennedy was assassinated. But they also said the phrase, blood test is a lie, was found that day. So, you combine that with Jackie shot JFK, and you have President Donald John Trump, the number 322 written out again, Peel's film Us released on 322 and his goal is to rule the world thinking to that tarot spread from the 2017 Economist cover since we keep coming back to that year but with Trump sitting on top of the world on the judgment card but so now moving on here the next piece of graffiti is on August 15th 2017 it's the phrase fuck law in the initials M.E. So taken separately, fuck law is 77. Again, all the things we've been saying. The initials ME really stand out. So again, the 13th and 5th letters. So when we pull them across there, it is a simple 135. Again, same as three diamonds as we were just saying. Um, but again, those connections to Rod Williams and the Golden Gate Bridge. Of course, Rod Williams, the TSA agent um in peel's get out film warning of the second 9 11 being on some geriatric shit and then um in his follow-up film he does directly reference not only the twin towers but then the golden gate bridge we're also going to be connecting all of that to the godzilla movie here in just a moment in which uh, right before the Golden Gate Bridge is destroyed, we are shown this nice 88. But so, hang with me here. We're going to get to all of that. Jump back here. And again, go watch um, you know, the previous video for a huge breakdown on that. Um, when you mirror and add 135, it is the triple six. Um, and... Those initials, when we mirror them, are like EM, like emergency management, which I really drew everybody's attention to in the uh, Joe Rogan video in connection to NEMA. And again, looking through their history, but so the right side of your screen has some fascinating information for you over there. So I'll leave that up for just a moment because that is going to play into we, excuse me, where we're going next here. So, <clears throat> including, I'm just, let's go for it. Emergency management is coded Isaiah 13, 5. So again, a reference to that number, 135. So hold on to that for, again, just a moment more. And let's finish out this bit over here. So the final graffiti came on September 18th. The September 18th. The same day that Lana Del Rey's Honeymoon was released, coming on four years ago. The same day that um, Trump and David Blaine came to their agreement on the dive of death uh, that was going to take place. <laughs> uh, excuse me. In, uh, yeah, all of that, the same day that in 1947 you can see here the CIA is established, the National Security Council is established, Department of Defense launches, and the National Security Act is enacted. Same day that Jimi Hendrix dies. All of these things, and there's more, <laughs> but that's enough of them, right? And so those things all brought forward by the 33rd President Truman, of course, dying at age 88. All the things. And that being the last day here, September 18th, just wow, wow. So in any case, September 18th does reduce down to 9-9 because 1 and 8 is 9. 
So notice the graffiti for that day, hyped make, has a simple value of 99. And again, these references to the event, the rapture, on and on. Now, I want you to see here, and we'll come back to Spider-Man, but for 7-1, I guess hold on to those for one moment. So in thinking about all of this graffiti starting the same year that Trump is brought in, the final piece took place on September 18th, and he was inaugurated on January 20th. That's a span of 242 days. So, in thinking about the last graffiti in that 7-1, how peculiar that the Purge election year, again, the movie where the Purge is written out across the Lincoln Memorial in blood, is released on July 1st, 2016. And the amount of time from that release to the first graffiti on World Polar Bear Day 2017 is 242 days. And a simple value for 242 is the same as an oracle concerning Babylon, which is the same verse that was written out in emergency management. Stunning. So notice as well, fall of the United States, trauma-based mind control. You have a reference to Don Trump being the Antichrist. Of course, if you add those abbreviated letters for M and E, of course that was tag 13 and 5 is 18. The moon card, all the bits here, right? On the right side of your screen for 131 written out, heal the world, and all of those connections to 77 and beyond. But so take a look at this. When we look at the 242nd day, it's going to be August 30th. And August 30th happens to be the day that after 13 years, Tool will be releasing their new album, Fear Inoculum. You have got to be kidding me. So that title has a simple value of 138. Pez Theory, Donald Trump. Keep America Great, his new slogan, The Finish Line, all of these, it's such a huge fucking number, you guys. Unbelievable, right? My first video on this new channel was actually one talking about Tool's schism video, and that's actually been taken down at this point. Um, but So how very interesting, though, that when they finally release that album, that's how it comes up. And something else I want you to think about with that date, August 30th, is that when you drop that zero, you have the number 83. And so remember, that is the same as the Roman numerals for 2019, as well as stork, as in on the World End 2019 cover. Same as Mr. Rabbit. Mickey Knox's description of himself as a bloodthirsty killer. Same as the Donald and David Blaine and all of the connections that go on with that. All right, and it connects to all of the Nexium pieces that we talked about, the idea of he with wisdom to calculate, right? The name, the number, all of those pieces even ties into the fucking Beach Bum movie. So keep moving though, right? So in microbiology, inoculum defined as a small amount of substance containing bacteria, from a pure culture which is used to start a new culture or to infect an inspir experimental animal. And so it's essentially, right, like anything, a form of conditioning and orienting something to a variant and seeing if it can survive. And so we're going to see that on a whole new level at some point very soon here. Looking at that release date of August 30th to November 3rd, our big date here, just so happens to be 66 days. Again, incredibly massive, whether you want to look at the connections to um, you know, Epstein and the human trafficking and him being 66, or Mickey Knox and Mallory Knox going on a killing spree along uh, Route 66. All of the bits, it's, it's all there. Sacrifice. The nine weeks, three days, 93 master telemic number, really you name it. 
So let's keep moving here though, because that is major, but there is so very much more on the table here. So if we take a look at the amount of time between the purge's release and that final graffiti, you can see that's 444 days. Now hold on to that. The purge release to Trump's inauguration is 204 days. And again, thinking about this theme of graffiti, which took place from 227 to 918, which is 204 days. Now the simple value for 204 is the same as murder Trump ASAP, as well as 444 written out and September 18th. Now how stunning. You can also see Book of Revelations in the number 174, which you can actually see on the right side of your screen right now, is the same as New World Order and TCS NYC Marathon. That is how it is being hyped on social media. And the fact that it also shares coding with the untethering, which is the event in us where, again, half the population is killed, is very, very interesting to me. Outside the Wall, also appearing, that's the last song on Pink Floyd's Wall um, album and film, I do believe. And the album, I believe, is the one that was released, on, um, and Trump was 33 at the time. So again, all of those pieces sinking in there. And we do have uh, 174 that will pop up today, but I'm going to leave it to surprise as we go through this information, because really that is all very stunning at this point. And again, outside the walls, the first phrase in Peel's Us film, if I didn't just say that. So the fact that this September 18th day is written out is no surprise that it's important, especially when we consider that the graffiti was carved with this idea of rapture and the event. So when we look at the time from that date in 2017 to November 3rd of this year, well, damn it, if it's not 777 days or 111 weeks. And I know that one's pretty wild, so there you have it um, on the site for you here. So you can see how that lines up. And I mean, again, that triple one connecting to that triple six coding that we already examined in the triple seven very heavily connected um, with Donald Trump. Do remember it is written out in that 195 coding that we discussed towards the beginning of this video. Again, Lord of the Gate of Death, the last president, all of those big pieces. So now, in the last bit on the graffiti here, let's note that when we combine it all, it gives us a simple value of 322. So how crazy. <laughs> and that is, of course, that same date. Like I'm saying, that Peel's um, film Us was released. Of course, that is one of the most notorious numbers connected to the occult with the Skull and Bones organization. We saw it earlier on here written out in connection to President Donald John Trump's coding. And so, again, the significance of that is just beyond. So again, you can see here the references to a event from Yellowstone, the military industrial complex involvement in things, and these ideas of violent rapture earthquakes and extraterrestrials being amongst us. So let's get back to this whole sign language bit with the Lincoln Memorial here. And yeah, I think that's where we're at. Yeah, let's. So when we go through here and you look at the story about the sign language, you can see that it is said that his hands are representing the letters A and L in ASL. <laughs> and so down below here, it goes on to say that the sculpture may have actually intended this because he was familiar with Lincoln's work to make sure a university for the deaf could grant college degrees and again the sculptor had a son who was deaf 
indicating he would utilize sign language. So again, thinking about that 112, not only that, but again, AL. And when we think about AL, when I think about AL, I think of Crowley's Book of the Law because that is how he often refers to it as. So again, you can familiarize yourself if you are not with that concept. But so now, take a look over here. We can add that A and L as the first and twelfth letters and get a 13, the death card. And we can also look at it for what it's worth, right? The AL being a reference to Liber al Vel Legis. Now, I'll be damned if that's not the same as that 150 coding as November 3 and Honor America Day and U.S. President, all of the things, the black Trump, okay? Now, if we mirror those initials, we get L.A., huge thing we've been talking about. L.A., of course, reduces to 121. If we look at the initials that way, a symbol of 121 gives us Don Trump, blood sacrifice, antichrist, all of these huge pieces. And you can see as well the connections to a tethered chain, Surf City, which is Santa Cruz, scissors used in the film Us, and the phrase yourself, to find yourself. All four of those are from that film and show you how heavily connected it is with what is going on and especially in a connection to the Lincoln Memorial. But let me take it for you that step further here. So memory, JTTM, whatever the fuck is going on there. Allegedly, ISIS warns of terror strikes in San Francisco, New York, and London. And you can see here that these images are provided by that memory, JTTM. And in this one here, they say it appears to be a man in downtown Manhattan urges, urging ISIS followers to slaughter them all. And so how they say this is somehow downtown Manhattan, of everywhere that could possibly be, is beyond me. But a number of things strike me here. First of all, 639 on his alarm clock bomb. So that number, no matter which way we twist it, is going to give us a reference to 639. So why that's so interesting is because those numbers written out are the same simple 150 value as everything that we are talking about right now. And you can see again the alarm clock bomb sharing that 121 coding and the people this is provided by. Again, this is their narrative. There is real pockets of ISIS, sure. Real violence happens on, on under that name. But big stuff like this is most certainly connected to the fact that it is a elite government level funded operation. All right, know that. So another thing to think about with the release of, again, this set of threats here is in the show The Critic, when Duke Phillips, the character very similar to Don Trump, is running for president, he eventually says he's going to tell people how he really is going to handle the United States and the world if he's elected. But listen to what he happens to say. Half of you states are in the toilet, and you're not coming out. New York, you know what I'm talking about. California, kiss your smoggy butt goodbye. New England, you're going back to old England. <laughs> So he actually rips the same three <laughs> that are pulled out here. Now, to me, that is stunning. And shows you again that this is a part of the narrative. When you look at that phrase, answer the call, and you see that it is the same as underground, again, where the tethered dwell. And it's also the same as World War Three harbinger of death all of it these huge pieces you just see how stacked this is all right so yeah man that's that and again like i said the two big dates for today november 3rd and 8th both of those happen to be able to sum to 33 and 88 which when added together is 121 so god 
Now, when we're looking through all of these pieces here, and we're thinking about those initials, AL112. Now, when we mirror that, it's the number 211. And I think it's really interesting because as I'm about to start talking about here, Whitney Houston was pronounced dead on February 11th. Now, it's also very interesting to me because 211 is what appears in the final episode that Michael Scott stars in The Office. And again, he references these concepts of deathbed, likening him to Walt Whitman, on and on. But so, let's also keep in mind that a character we've been talking a lot about is Tupac. And so, not only does his full name code for 2019 and POTUS DJ Trump and ringing in unison. But when we reduce the initials of his name, T-A-S, it is 211. And again, I'm building on that 211. And again, when we reduce it, it is 22 and thinking about the 22 chapters of Revelations or the 22 that we see on his All Eyes on Me cover. Or the fact that this W is the 23rd letter. And this album was released 23 years ago. All the things that I could continue to reiterate that I have discussed with that. But so, what I will put, point out here is this very interesting discrepancy. So, in that Tupac video, I noted that the two singles that were released, one two days before and two days after he was pronounced dead, were the singles Life Goes On and I Ain't Mad At Ya, the ninth and thirteenth tracks off of that album, respectively, and again, Pac pronounced dead on 913. Now, what's so very compelling and interesting is that when you go to the page now, the fourth single has been changed. And remember, this is his fourth album, and that single on September 11th is released four days after Tupac is shot. But look back to this video here, and you can see very clearly that track four is listed as Life Goes On. So there's been a very deliberate change there. And so even just look at the upload date and time for this video is surreal. But so again, tying this in further, the fact that the day of his death is the first day of the first New York City Marathon in 1970 is stunning. Because 211 is the same as New York, or excuse me, NYC Marathon Route, as well as Donald Trump's Sacrifice and Santa Cruz, California, where the film Us takes place. And so, again, that marathon does end in Manhattan, and we will come back to that. But think about this as well. Trump's birth date is June 14th which can also be written as 146. And of course, very interestingly, that is the same as you can see here, Book 77, My Name, Finish the Wall, The Apocalypse, the Roman numerals for Triple Eight written out. But so this year, on his birthday, the new Men in Black movie was released. And I think it's interesting that the span of time from that release to November 8th this year is 148 days or 21 weeks one day again 211 like all of these right here or again that simple 148 being the same as Donald J Trump and all of the things that we have mentioned earlier on so Tim consider this as well 
9-11-2001 to November 8th of this year is 6633 for the day, 6633 days. So both of those numbers, supremely important. You can add them for 99, just like that graffiti on September 18th at Lincoln Memorial, or you can subtract them for 33. Again, all of this stuff with the Economist cover. But again, that span of time is going to be 18 years, that moon card, one month, 29 days. And if we wanted to pull up 129, you could see here it is the same as 99 written out. And again, all of these huge pieces, triple eight written out, connections back to the AI featured in the Lawnmower Man, Judgment Day, Transhuman, you name it. So, there's all of that. And with that being said, um, I guess let's take just two minutes here, not even, um, and let's get into the meat of this presentation. We're about an hour in. I think I got about an hour to go. So, give me just a second here. All right, so I pulled back up on the right side of your screen, getting us back to some of these ideas connected to November 3rd. And the reason is because we're about to start talking about the song, I Will Always Love You. So let's just burn right into this because if uh, we're about an hour in here and you're still here, you understand exactly how I structure my videos. So, Dolly Parton released the original of this song on March 18th in 1974. Now, that was the 77th day of the year. Now, 18 years later, on November 3rd, Whitney Houston releases her just titan of a cover. And so, what's so crucial is that was two days after the 22nd New York City Marathon which was held on November 1st. So, wow, you've got uh, 222 easily coded in there. And again, that is the same as Natural Born Killers, World Economic Forum, September 11 attack. These references um, just go on and on here. And so again, that triple one, the triple six coding. But so let's take note that 2019 is going to be the 27 year anniversary of Whitney Houston's version and that is coinciding with the 49 year anniversary of the New York City Marathon so even though it's the 49 year anniversary it's actually going to be the 48th race and I'll talk about that in a moment but you can see here some numerology adding those numbers subtracting them and ultimately here we see all of these references to the final song in the film Us, to the phrase Have a Nice Day, connected to Trump's Illuminati card, Typhon, the strongest deity in mythology buried under Mount Etna. Again, Beyond Magic, where Blaine performs the bullet catch. But when we're thinking about this song, it has some very interesting history to it. And so, one of the things that I find most fascinating is that the song is often misinterpreted. Because it is about somebody knowing they will always love somebody, but being aware that they're not right for each other and must let them go. And then the fact that it is still played at certain, right, it's played at weddings. 
And then it's interesting that in 2002, Saddam Hussein, again, another elite controlled puppet here, uses it during some propaganda. Of course, the United Nations gets involved and they're this huge fucking puppet piece too. But now, very interestingly, it appears in the episode of Glee entitled Heart. And what's so very stunning about this in a number of ways is, first of all, it was the 13th episode of the third season, as you can see written out there. And so that nice 133 is, of course, one of the most crucial numbers that we go into. And again, you can see it's reference to All Eyes on Me, that Tupac album we keep looking at. Peace by Vengeance, Ride, Donnie, Ride, referencing to the number 113, which we can see as November 3rd. And really, the importance of that number does go on and on. And so it's also crucial to remember um, that that is the coding for Connects Us, HBO's slogan, or part of their slogan. The full one is, of course, four words. It's what connects us. But so, when we think about all of that, and the fact that you can see here that it was delivered to the executives um, three days prior to the announcement of her death, it's unreal. And like I said, we're going to be talking about World Heart Day, and the fact that that episode is titled Heart is just a little too fucking much. But so we're going to get back to that. Take a look here. I will always love you is 18 letters. Moon card. And its coding is the same as <laughs> appearances are often deceiving, like the core of the song, as well as the United States of America, National Security Agency, number of a man, Donald Trump, the date Kennedy is assassinated, November 22nd. And again, you can see all of these things. The number for Salute to America is written out. And when we look at that value of 261, let's remember that the 261st day is September 18th. <laughs> my, oh my. But in thinking about this National Security Agency, yes, let's pull it apart here. So, like we said earlier, founded on November 4th, reduces to 44. Slogan is two statements. And the reason I say it's two statements is because there are periods separating them. Defending our nation, securing the future. All right, two very distinct pieces there. So defending our nation, the 195 that we've talked about. And since it does have that Queen of Diamonds and 112 in it, again, a mirrored 211, like all of the bits we were just talking about, consider that the Queen of Diamonds represents a power, powerful figure, evokes a negative woman trying to force herself on everyone and in every domain. You can see she's a bad omen and warns the consultant about the dangers brought by toxic relationships. And so we should most certainly be thinking about that in connection to Donald Trump. But now, let's think about something here. Since we have these references to contaminated vaccines and bubonic plague black death. So... Bubonic Plague, BP-216, interesting, is a rearrangement of 261, but Bubonic Plague is also 13 letters. There's your death card again. And a shout-out to Irving and a shout-out to Mark Anthony and really everybody on here, Jamie in Louisiana, Ronnie Wood, Good Servant, Bridget Waters, really everybody as I... <laughs> come up into this um, but you all contribute great things but I had asked Irving some questions about bubonic plague because he had brought it up in one of his great bits here and I was connecting it to a film that he had brought up again the movie 
um, Night of the Living Dead, based on I Am Legend, which was about a plague that wiped out L.A., and it was just wild to me because in the comments I was talking about how I've been following the stories about Los Angeles, as you can see here, and the spread of bubonic plague. And so you can see that they have been teasing these articles. And the span of time that they are released is, again, very interesting. But now I want to show you this one. It's an interview with Dr. Drew, and do notice that bubonic plague does have that same Jackie shot, JFK, get out US, all of that coding that we were looking at with the vandalism on the Lincoln Memorial. So in this bit from Dr. Drew, again, DD, he talks about predicting a, another event that had happened. But so here you can see a bit of background here and Dr. Drew referencing an event in 1924 in which the bubonic plague was said to break out. And so in looking into that, you see it's listed as this pneumonic plague outbreak. Again, a variant of the bubonic plague. Patient zero is a man named Jesus. Make what you will of that. But so a lot of interesting pieces there. It's also connected to an outbreak that took place in San Francisco. So in here he's talking about Los Angeles being one of the only cities in the country to have no rodent control plan. So he goes on to talk about homeless people defecating directly into city drains, flowing into the ocean, all of that flowing in there. And, and then he makes a great point here about homelessness not being something that can be solved just by building more housing, but because there are fundamental issues that exist beyond that, such as mental health and the role of substances that create a whole other layer of complication. But so again here, you can see that Dr. Drew is saying that LA is coming up to a national emergency that will require the intervention of FEMA, the Red Cross, and the National Guard. So to me, it's really weird that he is just kind of putting that out there, warning directly, and I'm going to tag back on that later, direct warning is overlooked. And so again, you can see here, bubonic plague, also referred to as Black Death. The coding for that references to, again, Purge, which is what is written across the Lincoln Memorial, Satanic, on and on. So notice for the second part of the NSA slogan is securing the future, our beloved future. And so there's a number of things I want to point out here. And for those of you worried that we're not connected enough to the Lincoln Memorial, think about this interesting bit here. In the line from the second inaugural, with high hope for the future, the F in future was actually carved as an E. And so to obscure this, they simply did not paint the bottom line of the E in black paint. And so what that essentially then gives you is the phrase, the future. And so how very interesting when we see that running into all of this other coding that we've been talking about, references to the Marathon, 411, Conspiracy, 88, Abraham Lincoln, right? You name it, coming up in that interesting piece. And so it's also worth noting here with Abraham Lincoln and Pick a Winner both coming up, is this bit from The Simpsons. Remember, Ralph Wiggum actually has a coding of 135. And remember in Season 3, Episode 3 of Ren and Stimpy, the episode, and Abe Divided, 
which is 114 or 411 like we just saw coded we see Lincoln picking his nose and again all of the rotting corpses underneath his memorial again Wiggum featured on the Lincoln Memorial picking his nose and again pick a winner sharing that coding as we see here on the right side of your screen with all of these other just monumental pieces tied into today's discussion so the other thing in that season three episode three is they absolutely decapitate abraham lincoln try to replace it with the statue of liberty a pile of burning garbage and that of course is ultimately what they leave on their city dump having that triple six coating which is what's written on that can but so in any case securing the future you can see here the future written proper is the same as blurry man which is the title of again the 10th episode of 2019's twilight zone series so again, you can see all the pieces there, the reference to Goodbye Michael, again where we saw that 211 at the airport, American Maniacs, where um, Mallory shoots Scagnetti on live TV, you see We Are Bullet, which are the words associated with that A side of that Misfits EP, and it goes on and on. This is airtight at this point. So also take note that Securing the future, STF, is a symbol of 126. And you can see here that is the same as 45, like Don Trump. It's also the same as 211, like all of those connections to Houston, to Tupac, to all of the things we we're literally looking at moments ago. End of days, Oroville Dam all of it you're fired what was chanted during the hex put on him and again we'll continue to come back to that moment again zero hour about the upcoming financial collapse but so in thinking about that 211 that is connected with this again you can see here brings us back to talking about Whitney Houston so again both of her names are seven letters. There's your 77, and her initials reduce 23-8. So interesting to me because it's like a date for August 23rd. And again, when we look at the fact that that is the 235th day of the year, that is the same as we are 138 written out, as well as Reduent Saturnia Regna, again, returned to the kingdom of Saturn, appeared in the bicentennial discussing the ratification of the US Constitution wanting to return to the Saturnian age all of these bits and when we look at 130 days remaining right next to that well wouldn't you know if that's the same as Saturnian age and the bodyguard the film that I Will Always Love You appears in that really catapulted Houston. And again, it's the same as Black Skeleton, The Serpent, FEMA 911, all of the pieces, the Blood Album, which was released the same day Trump was inaugurated. Again, you're not gonna you're not gonna match this. You can't. But so notice that her name is a simple 216. And what are the odds, right? Because 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. And you can see there the Law of the Strong, which is from Book 77, just like both of her names are seven letters for 77. All of the references. <clears throat> but so, again, just keep hammering back on that 211. But so what's very interesting here? And we said we were going to talk about Spider-Man later on, and let's let's get through this actually because in the music video for "I Will Always Love You," Houston has a sword which she does hold to the neck. Again, these ideas of severing the head, the ego, and then at the end she's sitting in snow, 
And remember, I talked about us when we put the cover upside down is actually the word snow. And snow has a simple value of 48, just like Whitney Houston was 48 when she died. And this year is going to be the 48th New York City Marathon, right? It's also the same as hoax. But so even there, I'm getting ahead of myself. So the new Spider-Man movie features that song in the beginning of it. Kid you not. Let's make sure we're all caught up here. Yeah, so we're all the way, all the way. So you can see this article here talking about this song appearing during the In Memoriam. And how very, the first image is Tony Stark, the man who sacrifices himself in Endgame to save humanity, to bring everybody back, is featured in the Christ pose. Unreal. But so take a look at this. Houston's death on 2-11-2012 to the release of the new Spider-Man on... July 2nd of this year, 2019, is 88 months and 22 days. Huge on their own. We add them together, it's 110. Now, I'll be damned, the phrase in memoriam has a simple value of 110. Furthermore, it is a 10 letter phrase, the wheel. Again, INM can give us 913. Tupac's death, anniversary of the first New York City Marathon, we can reduce them down for 13, the death card. The simple value for 110, 911, martial law, president, Knight of Pan, again, Knox, his references to end of times, Soylent, and Elon Musk. So let's pull both of those two aside for a second. So Soylent... Makes me think, of course, Soylent Green. Now, how very interesting that the movie here states the year 2022 as when it takes place. And these reports that are given to the character Soul, again, son, who ends up killing himself in the end, are over a four-year span, 2015 to 2019. And then sometime after that, we have things completely fall apart to where things are just on the brink. But so again, that 222 and all of its connections to 9-11 attack, to the true holy angel of death. Again, we were looking at this number moments ago, but you can see its connections there to New York, natural born killers, Again, on and on. But so Soylent Green, the actual name of the film, Gold Scissors, item used in Us. It's also the same as Cradle of Humankind, again, located in South Africa. It's a UNESCO site. All of those pieces, the date February 11th is written out. Culture of Death, you have the number 174 again. That TCS NYC marathon is what that 174 coding is, as well as the untethering, <clears throat> all of those mighty pieces. <sighs> but so, if we look here over at the film or excuse me, yeah, the film. And it talks about the book written by Harry Harrison, again, the HH, the 88, all of the things, 40 million people. Again, 40 is the simple value for us, <laughs> as well as all of the things. All right, you cannot run from this. 
So also in that 110 coding, Elon Musk. So let's take a look at this and let's really put it into context here, right? So first of all, Soylent Green is coded Project Monarch. So that is directly hailed in the Godzilla movie in which uh, Godzilla uh, destroys San Francisco. And in it we see submarines, references to the July 16th, 1945 explosion. Again, July 16th reduces down to 77. But on World Snake Day, which is the same day the Trinity test happened, which is the same day that uh, Elon Musk presented Neuralink, I want to break this down for you. So again, the difference from July 16th to November 3rd is 111 days, 15 weeks, 6 days. Again, that 156, Fate's Messenger, all of that. The triple one, all of the triple six stuff. So, how very interesting again, that like a number of these other dates, July 16th and November 3rd both reduced to divine multiples of 11. And when we add them, it's the number 110. So let's think about that number 110 with Abraham Lincoln and the penny came about in 1909. And so that is 110 years ago. So let's keep going here. Neuralink, Jordan Peele's horrifying new release is the same as Jordan Peele. Or Elon Musk's new creation is the same as Jordan Peele, 9-11, light bearer, all about you. Now why I reference that and the 9-11 is because when we were talking about they changed the 9-11 track on track 4 here, it is now all about you, which is released again on September 11th, they say. Oof, another level. So, what's interesting, and I'm going to go through and look at this article for you in just a moment, but Elon Musk's only concern with merging humanity with AI is the concept of bandwidth. And you can see on the right side of your screen that is the same as Blackout, Plan 9, which is who released the Misfits Bullet EP, and again, all of these other pieces, Ragnarok, the complete destruction of everything. <clears throat> but so, take a look over here at the Neuralink stuff. And you can see the stated goal is to eventually allow paralyzed humans to control phones or computers. So as, a, as always, we have this super right progressive way of pitching it and then he goes on to say it's not going to be suddenly Neuralink will have this neural lace and start taking over people's brains right he goes into that he says ultimately to achieve a symbiosis with artificial intelligence and in any benign scenario even humans would be left behind so he says the idea is to merge totally with AI and you should be thinking of the matrix where that is completely what has happened there suspended in the goo um, but again right talking about a brain and a vet he's conjuring up that symbolism for you so you can see here where they go on and on to talk about how it is going to be able to put information into your brain and he says you can take it in more quickly than you can push it out so they're wondering right how to get around that and again of course this number four it's going to be using four sensors they've got some guy dressed in scrubs talking about safety being the primary goal on and on blah blah but how very interesting though <sighs> just how very interesting So to finish out the in memoriam, 
it ends, and again, that's at the beginning of the Spider-Man movie, with the phrase, Love You 3000. Again, this comes from Tony Stark when he's sacrificing himself. But that is the same as the phrase Trump ends his Salute to America speech with. The future belongs to us. It's also the same as Hands Across America Thriller, the merging of the two main t-shirts in the film Us. And again, Hands Across America having taken place 33 years ago in all the things we've talked about with Thriller. But so again, notice from Spider-Man's release to November 3rd is 125 days. So let's pull up the simple 125 and let you see that it is the same as Hypnosis, John Kennedy. You can also see here Deathbed Edition, the 33rd edition of Leaves of Grass, False Flag Attack, North America, and the numbers 185. Of course, the simple 185 is the same as Donald John Trump. A number of other just paramount, paramount pieces that we have talked about, including the two cards that are tilted on the 2017 Economist cover. But so... Again, building off of this span between Spider-Man and the November 3rd of this year, it is four months and two days. So, a simple value of 42 is incredibly important because that is the same as TCS, TATA, and NYC, all directly connected to the big marathon. You can also see it's the same as GOT, which is, of course, for Game of Thrones. The connections there and Trump that I've discussed are most certainly important as well. But so, here we go, back to the beginning. New York City Marathon begins in 1970 and is held annually every year except for 2012 due to Hurricane Sandy. So, this is regardless the 49-year anniversary 4 nines, 13 that's the death card. A simple value for 49 is the same as end game and global. So again, very important ideas here. So again, as I stated earlier, this will actually be the 48th race, all of the connections with that number. Now, the race was founded by a man born the name Fischl Lebowitz. FL612, again mirrored as 216, just like Whitney Houston, we can mirror and add it for 828. It's got a 15 letter name, okay? And Fischl Lebowitz is that other 174 because we keep seeing that written out today. And again, that is the same as TCS NYC Marathon, the untethering New World Order. All of these big bits here, right? Lana Del Rey's new album inspiration, Norman Rockwell. It goes on and on. Okay, so Lebowitz, if we take his last name alone, it is 112. Again, huge number. Mirrored is 211, which we've been talking about immensely. Same as Pink Floyd, Arizona Bay. Again, Maynard in a Tool song said he would see you down in Arizona Bay. And again, talking about L.A. being totally wiped off the map. You can see in Fischl's full name here. Maynard's stage name and his birth name are both fully written out. Okay, so the fact then that it is last name, this location comes up. We also have coding for the false prophet, I think is most certainly worth taking note of. Alright, so again, it's really interesting here because his last race was the one that took place two days before Whitney Houston released I Will Always Love You. So what the fuck are the odds of that? Okay. So, again, his memorial statue is revealed on November 4th of 94. Again, the anniversary of the NSA, the 42nd anniversary to be specific, on and on. So, Lebowitz is also, uh, he referred to himself as Fred Lebo, and so that coding is Sacred Idol, Golden Gate, The Moon, there's Geriatric, again I'm always talking about geriatric shit, 
end of the age economy dictator and dark light so his death in 94 can either be counted as the 44th or 45th day after the release of natural born killers so it's interesting because in the first race he did finish 45th and of course trump our 45th president all the things i keep hammering on in relation to that but so and i mean just being back on this Neuralink thing here do notice that their logo is very similar where's it at here to the project monarch logo again these glasses that you can see here and Neuralink having the same shape just at a slightly different point so whew. looking at the New York City Marathon here we go In the middle of an eight-year contract with Tata Consultancy Services, which is going to expire in 2022. Again, that's the same year that Soylent Green takes place. But the marathon is orchestrated by the New York Roadrunners. And you can see that coding is the same as New York City Marathon, President Donald J. Trump, as well as... <laughs> Psychological Operations, Airborne Hologram Project, which is a reference to Project Bluebeam, and that phrase, Peace by Vengeance Brings the End. And again, considering that in Del Rey's video, that is the last spoken word part of that song, which has the triple six coding. All of the things, the lyrics are washed away into the sea. But so, it's interesting to think about with TCS because they also sponsored the Boston Marathon. And that partnership began in 2011. And so how weird, there's no race in 2012, again, for Hurricane Sandy. And the 2013 Boston Marathon is the site of the Boston bombing. So how interesting with that partnership. But so what I want to do is look through here at the company that is responsible for sponsoring this marathon. So Tata consultancy you can see here is connected to many interesting things but of course this is right an owned company and so if we take it a step further we see that they are owned by Tata group and so Tata group is then pretty high up on this chain and you can see their connection to weapons, to vehicles, to steel, motors, beverages, <laughs> telecommunications, IT, you name it. Electricity, all funneling through this company. And again, that nice 77. And so you can see further that Tata Group is owned by Tata Sons. And so, this is where I find myself very interested. Because Tata Sons, you can see the initials, TS is 2019. Both words are four letters. There's our 44. And if we look at the long version of their name, it's Tata Sons Private Limited. And the simple value of that is 272. That's the wolf in sheep's clothing. That's Revelation 19.15. So if we look at that, it says, And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. So what a powerful verse to be mentioned in reference to a conglomerate that owns things 
that could make that happen, you also see a single world government. Now you see this reference here to Zachary K. Hubbard's A False Teacher. Now, this is a very peculiar bit to put in here, but uh, I will do it. I really don't mean to throw shade here, but it is no surprise that I do not trust this individual. I did put a video out in 2015 calling him into question. Again, Zachary Hubbard, both names are seven letters, that is a 77. Z and H both reduced down to eight, that's 88. We could look at his initials, right? Uh, Z, K, H coming down to 8118 and all of this talk that he's constantly doing about August 11th on his Gematria effect news. Uh, 18 letters, right? Moon warship sharing the same coding as August 11th. And I mean, there's so much more. Zachary Hubbard is actually coded with Pez theory. I will shout out the individual in Georgia uh, who brought me up on his show. And, uh, you know, I'll take my hat off to Zach too for I feel handling that really well, but I do feel like you ultimately deceived. You should have told your viewers how much you appreciate my work um, because, yeah, there's a lot of evidence to support that. But again, in this idea of him being a false teacher, I decided to look at a video in which uh, he's looking at something that, you know, I've incorporated in this video. And I thought it was interesting. He talked about the uh, Ides of March being connected to uh, Augustus Caesar. Um, and then, you know, going on with that. But, uh, you know, of course, you know, no, the Ides of March is, like most things of importance on this scale, connected to moons, and in particular, full moons. So you can see that here. And furthermore, the assassination of Julius Caesar was the one connected to the Ides of March. Again, in 44 BC, all of the major pieces to that. Um, again, Augustus died of natural causes. Um, there's speculation that his wife had poisoned him, but, um, you know, again, more or less natural causes. But so in any case, that's all of that. You know, there's much more. Um, I've had people comment some really interesting stuff on him. I can't keep up. I'm not interested. Um, but so notice this as well. In that same coding of that 272, you see Brittany runs a marathon. Now hold on to that. Because 272 is going to be September 29th. Now... The World Heart Federation, which shares all of these huge coding pieces, including 322, Satanic, Ritual, Sacrifice, Global Hyperinflation, Willis Tower Attack, so on and so forth, is holding their event that day. And of course, 929 reduces down to 911 with 93 days. And you can see here World Heart Day has that coding, right, of find yourself, connected back to the Antichrist, the law of Thelema, and these discussions at the beginning of the video about the number 227, which 272 can actually be arranged to show us. So yes, all of that is very importantly connected in the fact that the Whitney Houston Glee episode was titled Heart, and all of the stuff we've been talking about with her um, is really quite phenomenal. But really you should be blown away that I'm doing all of this talking about the New York City Marathon and then a new fucking movie about a woman running it is coming out and it has this same coding as this company and all of this single world government and <laughs> last Trump rapture talk. But so the release is going to be on August 23rd. And remember I was saying earlier, Whitney Houston, <clears throat> when we look at her initials, 238 could be looked at as August 23rd. And we looked into those two numbers. 
So that date to November 3rd is 73 days. That's Trump's current age. And so if we pull up that symbol of 73, you can see sacrifice. 18, United Nation, Goodbye, Alien Agenda, again, Skidu, Chapter 23, all of these pieces. So, just fascinating. But notice that that span of time is 2 months and 12 days. Now let's start to tie all of this in here, right? So, one of Manhattan's area codes is 212. And the New York City Marathon ends in Manhattan. The simple value 4212 is cross the finish line. <laughs> it's also the same as the Trinity Test and the Manhattan Project. Now, when we're thinking about the Manhattan Project, I can't help but think about Godzilla. And the latest Godzilla movie is 2 hours and 12 minutes and was released on May 31st, which was the anniversary of Walt Whitman's birth. So how far out is all of that? And you want to talk about a poster for Project Bluebeam? This is your fucking guy right here, man. And so again, look at these two release dates here. The mirrors of that 135. And so again, all of the things that can be gleaned from that number and what I think is so very interesting is that in that movie, the apocalyptic event is referred to as the rise of the titans. And you can see that has that same coding as World Heart Federation. And remember, United Nations Plaza, which you also see there, is the same, is located at that 777 address. But this is the imagery they give us for the rise of the titans, is this three-headed... Hydra on top of a mountain erupting from it, think Typhon, standing across from the four points of the cross. Very powerful imagery. They also show us the destruction of DC, right? The White House. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. But look here for World Heart Day. The Heart Federation's logo is two C's. That is a 33. So all of that stuff whew, really just keeps piling on, man. So let's see. There's the Brittany Runs a Marathon. Okay, so we're on track here. I'm going to aim for two hours, you guys. So the other thing, though, because that movie is Godzilla, King of the Monsters, so coding for that is the same as 9-11 part 2 as well as the book of Revelation. You can see there now you see me too which I discussed is in connection to the 2019 Economist because of the four horsemen again the magicians. Fascinating. But so <laughs> let's keep moving with this 212 man. Like I said in the very beginning the original dedication ceremony for the Lincoln Memorial was on 212. That was also Lincoln's birthday. And now, when we wrap this all back around to Tata Sons, their current chairman, Nataharian Shandaraskaran, was made the head on the 21st of February. 2017 that huge date that we keep talking about so that date can be written out as 212 just like all of these other ones and when we look at his full name written out it is 23 letters and it is the same as the second 911 and President Trump and some geriatric shit and choose in all of these major major pieces this is a hallmark number at this point all right and so while we're thinking about 212 here let's go over to this episode of the simpsons that actually manages to include 
references to the JFK assassination, the sinking of the Titanic, aliens, Godzilla, the song I Will Love You, and it's called Mayored to the Mob. And so there you've got all these pieces and again this beast from the sea that they're creating there. But so take a look at the coding for Mayor to the Mob. Same as POTUS Trump, One United World, Manhattan Project, World Currency, which is what appears on that 1988 cover of The Economist, Blackstone Group, who owns Willis Tower, all of the important things. But so notice as well that Homer is right eating his protectee watermelon that was the image I had up here for you and it's for the name Ann Landers again AL like Abraham Lincoln or that sign language that we were talking about earlier so watermelon you can see over here all of that coding that we discussed earlier and on the left side of your screen you can see the coding for Ann Landers the same as DJ Trump as well as Thriller, Blackstone, on and on. So in this episode, Mark Hamill, again, MH138, 10-letter name, voices Homer's bodyguard instructor, Lavelle, and Lavelle's courting is that triple four seventy four. Again, this year marked the 74-year anniversary of the Manhattan Project's Trinity Test on the same day that Elon Musk revealed Neuralink. And so again, the fact that the dark blue reference to Kali comes up is very fascinating in connection to Jesus, Lucifer, Masonic, and the King coming up. And you also see the 2020 Roman numerals and much more. But so, it is interesting, again, in this episode, Lavelle, with that coating, is on the grassy knoll taking his shots here at the watermelon later on he sings I will always love you while they are all covered in right the alleged guts there but so <laughs> let's do a hard 180 here and come back to talking about November 3rd because that date is so important and let's think about USA. And when we reduce those, it's 311, which is mirrored as 113. Just like that date, how peculiar. And so, in thinking about that further, if we invert USA, it's the name Asu, which is commonly attributed to Assyrian origin, meaning the East. So, U.S. was started on the East Coast, that's where our nation's capital is, and that's where this marathon takes place. So that's all very compelling to me. And I also find it interesting that the symbol for the East, the animal, is an eagle. And when you look into the symbolism further for this, you can see it connected to death, to new beginnings, these ideas of duality. And that is absolutely what is at the core of our nation. And so I'll leave you all of these links, of course. But so, in thinking about our nation's capital on the east, again, Washington, D.C., which we showed you in that new Godzilla movie, Burning, um, if we take the initials WDC and reduce them, it is 543, mirrored and added for the triple eight. So again, you can see on the right side, all of that coding coming back. So thinking about the occult sense, Cardinal East is the same as Bullet Catch, Day of Be With Us, and 515. These are both from occultic literature talking about the end. Also here, reference to Life Goes On. That was the single I originally showed you as the fourth single from All Eyes On Me, released on September 11th. And the phrase, I am Iron Man, are Tony Stark's, again, TS 2019, 
They are his last words before he snaps and sacrifices himself. Whew. Almost there. So in thinking a little bit more about directions, I think about the four cardinal points, N-E-S-W. It's an anagram for sewn, and again in the sense of geography, the world is sewn together by the elite. It's also an anagram for news, which is completely contrived. Now, this is the only Jewish value I've got for you on here, but it's because I think it's very important. Buried Alive comes up, which is, again, huge peace with Trump and Blaine, but you also have the Brotherhood of Saturnalia and the number 108. Now, I want you to hold on to that number. I'll show you a little bit on the right side of your screen here. Again, how it shares simple coding with Buried Alive and 55 and Moon Warship. And again, that original price for The Economist World in 2019, when we added it, we did get that 108. So hold on to all of that for just a moment. And again here, the symbol value for the cardinal points gives us our references to Bluebeam and Tupac. Plan R, which is from um, Dr. Strangelove, that is the dropping of the nuclear bombs. Pasadena is referenced, of course, in The Big Lebowski, the key to the city. That is also where Jet Propulsion Laboratories is located, and of course all of their zip codes with the 911 in them so again it does just go on and on with all of that um but let's let's get into the last bit here um and it's a 90s cartoon it's the critic uh begins with the twin towers here i'm interested in it uh, because it is a lot of the same staff that worked on the simpsons not only does it start with the uh, Twin Towers, but a number of other New York landmarks, and one of them, I feel this is the Manhattan Bridge, uh, which is seen to be collapsing in a number of episodes, and so that's actually from season one, episode seven, again, 17, the star, but so as the bridge collapses, Jay says, New York is the greatest city on earth. And so that coding is the same as HBO's slogan, it's what connects us. It's also the same as John Fitzgerald Kennedy, President Abraham Lincoln, MK Ultra Mind Control. You can see this all, right? New York City attack, terrorist threats, Judgment Day of America, and all of it. So when we look at the Manhattan Bridge, how wild is this? It has that simple of 170 with 233 written out. And that's the same as greatest city on earth. It's fucking insane. Same as World War III, 74. Again, just talking about that number. You can also see it's the same as the phrase long live the king, which is uttered in Godzilla's latest movie. But so... Godzilla is also shown to have a budget of uh, 170 million. Can we show that? Um, hold on. I don't think it's totally worth showing. There you go. 170 million. And again, that is the same budget that the Dumbo movie is listed as having. Of course, you drop that zero, it is that star card again, which is the last one in that 2017 uh, Economist spread. But so now, in any case, with all of that, in Season 1, Episode 18, is our moon card, Jay actually runs the New York City Marathon. And it's in 1994, the same year that that statue is unveiled for the founder. So at the beginning, when they think it's the gunshot for the race, it's actually just some stray gunfire. Um, I don't know if I have the image in here, but it actually hits the helicopter who crashes into uh, the people so there is a very interesting piece there notice that Jay is number 108 in the marathon 
And so again, we did just see that number referenced up here and it is on the right side of your screen still. You do drop the zero, it is 18, the moon card, just like the episode's reference. So now again, I'll let you look through here these finer points between its release and Natural Born Killers. It's very fascinating. But the episode is titled Marathon Minch. Both words start with M, that's 44. Again, the words are eight and six letters, a reference to 19, or 86. 1986 was 33 years ago. So again, in this set of coding, you can see all of the references um, to home box office, the number 156, World Snake Day, the number 124, which again is the future, Blurry Man, all of those huge pieces, again, back on the right side of your screen. But so, again, World Snake Day, same day as the Trinity Test, same day as Neuralink, on and on. Minch, on its own, it's Mason, Black Magic, Navy, Plague, Genocide, Bombing, Tool, all huge pieces. So with all of these connections to Manhattan, Trump's right shit there, the Manhattan Project, the marathon finishes there, what do you think their slogan is? It's the place where we get bows, whatever the fuck that means. And it's coded for President Donald Trump, Trump assassination, one world dictatorship, population reduction, and Soylent Industries, which is the absolute name in Soylent Green. But so, oof, that's just, uh, it's really quite a bit there. And again, the critic has a total of 33 episodes. Pull that up for you over here. Three seasons, 33 episodes. It's that triple three, it's 33, it's all of it. And since we just saw this Marathon Minch, this 156, I want to go into and just show you this last bit here from the 88th episode of The Simpsons. And that episode is called Bart's Inner Child, which has a simple value of 156. So again, these connections to the first Sunday and As Above, So Below, and the Three of Diamonds, and the Battle of Midway, the Fall of Babylon, all of these things I've been reiterating to you. When we go to this episode, it begins... Excuse me, I'm actually one ahead on that one. So let's go over here. This is what we want. This is the 88th episode, Bart's Inner Child with the Do What You Feel Festival. And so, very important here, when we look at the coding for Do What You Feel Festival, it is the same as Hands Across America 2019, which is something I came up to put this into perspective for you. It's the same as United States Civil War, the rising of the phoenix, desolations are determined, this big thing that I'm always putting across to you. It's the same as the destruction of the earth in the number 168 written out. And so of course you can see on the right side of your screen that coding coming back to the three diamonds, again directly connected to Trump's birth date. These references as well to September 9th, the triple three written out, system purge, the great cleansing, it's all there. New York City. But so, when we look through this festival, Willie starts by saying the first thing he would do is kill everybody. Then we see Mr. Burns eating ice cream in front of Zesty's. Nudity, the collapse of music revealing the word Delhi, which is an anagram for lied. We then see a Ferris wheel come unhinged, breaking the zoo open, and the first animal that comes out is a polar bear. We then see chaos completely unfold and the discussion of praising Brad Goodman as a false idol. So Brad Goodman has a simple value of 94, which is the same as November, Terror, and Judgment. So 94 mirrored is, of course, 49, 
which this year is the 49th New York City Marathon. So, ain't that some shit. One last one since we're here. The 77th episode of The Simpsons is a clip show. And it begins discussing the origins of April Fool's Day. And The Simpsons are dancing around a statue and they are chanting blood for ball and I thought I had that typed up but I guess I don't but that's okay because what's important is they are putting forward that warship and you see they warn with a public service announcement and this warning is coming to Homer because in this episode, Homer is pranking Bart, mm. and Bart wants to get even, and to do so, he shakes a can of beer to the point of exploding on a scale similar to an atomic bomb. And so, when this happens, Homer, moments before, sees a warning in that heart, and think World Heart Day, like I was talking about earlier. But then you have this cloud very similar to a mushroom cloud. Homer ends up in the hospital. He then cannot walk, goes over to a machine with chocolate as he's motivated by it, and is then choked out. We have this death by chocolate idea. And again, that is a huge thing, and go watch my office video for the most insight into that. But you can see the connections there to the Triple Eight, the Trump card, the Master Builder, again, all of these major pieces that are constantly coming up. So then, Mr. Burns is the third attempt on Homer's life in this episode, pulls the plug on Homer. He eventually is able to wake up when Bart comes clean about him being the cause. So very stunning. Homer's then in a coma for seven weeks. Um, and that's more or less the end of that. But so very interesting to me. It's the 77th episode. You have an atomic bomb, death by chocolate, all of these things. Him be having the plug pulled on him for his uh, memory of Santa's little helper, which does have that 216 coating, which is the same as Whitney Houston all of the things that we have discussed to get us to this point where we're now over two hours <laughs> into this video. But so the very last thing here is simply, as we talked about earlier on Trump's birthday, Men in Black International came out, is the same as President of the World, the 33rd degree population control, the number 23, which remember is ski do, which is get out and all the things I've talked about from Book of Lies and you can see Whitney Houston heart the combination of right her heart being delivered essentially to the executives and you do see corrupt media broadcasters major psychotic breakdown the beasts of destruction tear down the whole world in a reference to February 27 again 227 either the 227th day, the world stur or the full sturgeon moon, or its connections to the graffiti and National Polar Bear Day. But so, believe it or not, I think we've reached the end. I think that's everything I wanted to share with you. Again, you can see the home stretch here of the marathon. The last number it's closest to is a 72 and a 66. All the things, man. So, November 3rd and November 8th, definitely big days. August 15th, um, the 31st and 13th of this month. August is just a big day to watch, or excuse me, month. I mean, you can see even today, I happen to be putting this out on the 216th day and how that syncs up with everything that I've been discussing with you. Remember as well, my last video came out on July 7th at 77. But so, you know, you can look through here and you can see very easily and a lot of other pieces I would be concerned with. 
And as always, I just encourage you all to come closer to those around you, man. Bridge the gap. I would argue it's too late to overcome a lot of the divide. The end is upon everything, and I don't think a good enough portion of the world population has what it takes uh, to, to fight back on a, the level that would actually work. It's too individualized, you know, us versus them, you versus me. Um, you know, you can go round and round on that, but that is ultimately how that cookie crumbles. So, again, appreciate those around you. Do what you can for your community. Just try to go out on the best note possible, right? <laughs> I cannot thank you all enough who made it through this two hours. I know it's a long time, but it's like an audio book, you know. Don't expect you to get through it on the first sit. And for the scope of things I'm talking about, I'm in no particular hurry to get through the information. So, with all of that being said, again, thank you all so very much for taking the time. And please, please be well.